So on March 21st, Peter Cordero's wire picked up a phone call from Hector Nunez to confirm that the transfer was done. The call came in at 9.25 a.m. That's pretty much what Hector said. Yeah, but listen to the next two calls that Peter makes. He's saying I'm calling on behalf of Armando Garcia. I want to make sure that his money was received and can we confirm the amount. Then he says, thank you, and then hangs up. Who's Armando Garcia? We check with J.P. Harding. They don't have any clients by that name. So it wasn't company business? No. Now listen to the second call. Is he in? It's Peter Cordero calling. Hey, everything's taken care of. We're running out of time. We need to get this done in the next couple days. Is that going to be a problem? Good. Everything's taken care of. That must be about the $25 million. But what exactly was getting done in the next couple of days? And how did it get him killed? We need to find Armando Garcia. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a pretty common name. There are hundreds of Armando Garcias in the U.S. alone. It's going to be hard to narrow it down. Unless we can find out who he was calling. At 925, Peter would have been at work. He would have made those phone calls from his desk phone. If we can get those phone records, they could tell us what he was involved in. I'll put in for a warrant. Hopefully, we'll get it by morning. 